Well, breaking news in Reseda, families family is forced out of bed as they scramble to escape a fire that quickly ripped through their apartment building. Now we've learned that at least one person has been hurt. NBC 4's Tony Guignard live at that scene where crews stopped the flames from spreading to other units. Tony, good morning. Uh, yes, this is at the Kingswood Village apartment complex on Sherman Way. Some very frightening moments for the residents living here. LAFD sharing uh, a couple of photos with us. Uh, I hope you can see that. Gives you an idea of exactly what they were dealing with. Captain Cody Wire Eater with LAFD is here with us this morning to give us a breakdown of what happened. Let's start with, uh, do you know how this fire started and where it started? So just after it was 3 o'clock this morning, the Los Angeles City Fire Department responded to uh, the receive the address behind me. Uh, unfortunately, at this point, it's too early to, to have that cause and termination. Our arson counterterrorism section is on scene with our investigators. They're going to conduct a full investigation to determine what the circumstances surrounding this fire was. What happened was we had on the first floor a fire that started and immediately started to lap up to the second to the third floor. Now, firefighters were able to aggressively start a fire attack and, and prevent that horizontal fire spread on either side of the units. I have a lot of people here. This building, this complex has more than 200 uh, units. Uh, we were able, I'm going to interrupt our conversation because we also spoke with one of the residents. Uh, this is what he had to say. As I went outside, I just saw flames coming from the back of the building and everyone was surrounding it. Um, it looked like it already took the second building on the, well, the level above it. It looked like it took that building as well. Back with uh, Captain uh, Wire Eater, a number of people displaced uh, and talk to me about the injuries. Correct. So we did have, when we pulled up on scene, 75 to 100 people on the rear of this building that had self-evacuated. Um, right now, unfortunately, we do have two injuries that were reported on scene. One adult male, approximately in his 60s, that was transported to a local hospital in critical condition. And then an adult female who was treated here on scene and declined to be transported by paramedics. I know you still have a lot uh, to moving forward with the investigation. I want to thank you for joining us. And I want to show our viewers one more photo uh, taken inside this complex just to give you a sense of what these residents were running from. I'm Tony Ginyard reporting live from Reseda 4 today in L.A. All right, Tony, thank you.